Hello everyone, my name is Michael Lombardo with GlideFast Consulting and today I'll be doing a demo of release management in ServiceNow. And so on the left hand navigator you'll see we have products, releases, phases, features, and tasks. Um, and that's really almost the, how the hierarchy is set up um, out of the box. So we have products um, that contain releases that actually can, can contain multiple releases under that, multiple layers of releases under releases um, or release phases that also contain features and features can actually contain tasks. Now I know that sound, sounded probably pretty confusing, um, but uh, I, I think it'll be a lot more clear as I go through this demo. Um, and uh, another quick thing about these tables, they are all extended from task. So um, it's it's really nice to have all the uh, all the fields that are on, um, on task level available to us in any one of these um, these tables here. So it's really useful for us to leverage out of the box functionality. We don't have to even create fields. We can just take um, existing fields that are on task and, and utilize them. Also, we can use the um, also, we can leverage the My Work um, modules that are available to us. So if we assign one of these releases or even a product to an individual, it'll appear under that My Work module, which is very useful. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a Windows XP product here. Uh, and you'll see, it again, we just have a basic form here. Uh, we have the ability to custom, most, most of the time this does get configured. Uh, more fields added, uh, more information we need, things like that. So we can assign this to an actual individual. Uh, we can add a configuration item, obviously short description. Uh, we have our work notes description. And if we go down, you'll see um, this product has multiple releases underneath it. Security patches for 2008, 2009, 2010. Um, and before I go into those releases, I'm actually going to pull up the product hierarchy here, uh, and this will kind of bef before we dive in. I think this is this is something I found very useful when I first uh, learned a little bit about resource management, and it really just gives you an overview of what the hierarchy looks like. So you have your products, releases. Again, you can have releases underneath those, um, and you have your features, which then can contain feet, um, feet, release tasks. And also, you can't have release tasks under um, releases as well. So I'm going to uh, zoom back out, zoom back in a little bit, so you can see that a little closer. Products, releases, releases, features, release tasks. Let me go back to our Windows XP product, and um, so let's go into our first release here. Uh, Windows XP security updates and patches for 2008. And you'll see right here we have Windows XP security updates patch 2008. Again, we just have a basic form here with some um, configuration. We can easily um, add some more fields if needed. Uh, usually a start and end time, plan start and end time, actual start and end time for this release. Um, and this is all out of the box. I did add the change request tab because Usually, users uh, want to create a create a change right from release. Uh, you can do that out of the box with the new button right here. It's auto, the relationships will be automatically created. Um, sometimes we do add a custom um, cha create change button uh, so we can uh, grab some of the information that it's actually that we have available to us without having to rewrite data. Because typically, we're using release management for the planning uh, before we get to that change record. And we want to grab, you know, maybe the product and some of the information from the product record. Uh, obviously, one, we do want to grab some information from the release because there's a lot happening in the release management process. We're capturing a lot of data there. We don't have to re-communicate that to the change management team to get authorization. Uh, if we already have some of that information, let's leverage it, copy it over, um, and make it as easy as possible to get approval. Um, so again, uh, what, I, what I do love at ServiceNow did for us, again, is this release hierarchy. Um, again, we, before we were looking at that product hierarchy, uh, this just gives you a little bit deeper dive um, 
into what exactly we're, we're looking at at this release. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go, let's go back to that release. So you do have that UI action for you out of the box. Now this uh, Windows XP security updates and patch for 2008, this has releases underneath them. Uh, this release can also have features. I uh, think if I go a level deeper here, we'll have a look at some features out of the box. Again, uh, th this forms, the release form we just spoke about, pretty much out of the box. But if I go into one of these features here, so now this features are really are gonna give us, you know, justification. You know, what are, what are we actually releasing? What's part of this release? Why are we doing this? Um, how are we benefiting our users? And or you know, what are the what are the bugs we're fixing? Um, you know, things like that. So, out of the box it gives you a nice uh, feature, and you'll see you have your feature tasks that are available for us. Um, so it's really straightforward in the hierarchy. Um, and, and that release management process service now leaves it leaves it really open for us to, to adopt towards our process. Um, so thank you, ServiceNow, for that. All right, that concludes the release management in ServiceNow demo. Thank you for watching, and if you have questions, you can email me at mike at glidefast.com. Thank you.